Good morning, Lego fans. Welcome back to another episode of Not Off Blocks. Today, I've got my suit on because I'm going back to The Office. That's right, The Office from the hit NBC series, The Office. Uh, I really wish they came up with a better name. But anyway, uh, this is the, the series that spawned so many Lego ideas, creations, and submissions that got uh, upvoted to 10,000 votes, but then Lego never really made any of them because they didn't follow the uh, guidelines or they didn't pass the final voting stage or whatever so you know what NBC finally took it upon themselves to just contact a third-party blog manufacturer Fat and Mojo I've never heard of them but and I guess they're they're good uh, but yeah so they contacted them and they managed to make a an official set I guess so yeah that's good uh, I'm a little mixed about this set because um, one it was a gift and two it was horrendous to put together so, um, I'm a bit mixed, uh, needless to say. But anyway, um, let, well, let's just take a look at the box here and see what we get. Okay, so looking at the box, we can see that it's a very shiny boy indeed. And in fact, uh, it's so hard to actually film uh, with any confidence from my lights. So I do apologize for the glares. Um, but yeah, so we can see it's an official NBC product, Dunder Mifflin Scranton Branch Construction Set, produced by Fat Mojo. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of Fat Mojo in the future. Mm hmm, I didn't say it at all sarcastically. Uh, but yeah, it comes with three minifigures um, Dwight, J uh, Michael, and Jim, or at least what we can consider minifigure forms because, you know, they all have all the abomination of a nose. Blasphemy! But yeah, I, they're doing their own thing, whatever. Uh, we'll show you how much uh, these guys actually differ from the photograph here. And uh, the render the render here is oh so nice. Uh, we can see Jim here, he's making a crack towards Dwight, who's just not taking any of it with his little pout. Uh, while, all the while, Michael is over here just, I don't know, doing something in his office, lollygagging, I, I, I assume, because he doesn't really do anything. He's the perfect boss who does nothing. That's what she said. <laughs> That's right. Uh, anyway, we can see that it works with most major brands. Uh, I wonder what brands we may be referring to. Um, yes, brands, as if there's not one. Uh, for more information, visit uh, fatmojo.com slash office, as if that site is still in existence. Um, I haven't checked it, but I seriously doubt it. This seems to be a very flight-by-night company, in, in my opinion. Yeah, we have Jim's desk here, Bureau de Jim. And Dwight's desk, Bureau de Dwight. Reception area. Hey, that's Pam's desk. Aw, I wish Pam was in this set. Although she's probably uh, probably blessed by not having to uh, be tainted by this set. Um, uh, for more information, blah, blah, blah. And here's Michael's office. Bureau de Michael. Yes, and there's a big barcode and some funky things. Build your favorite office. Yes, this is my favorite office. Hooray. Let's see. Let's build Dunder Mifflin. Dwight is waving at me. Hooray. All right, so basically this was a very interesting set to put together, uh, mainly for the instructions alone, because if we look at the instructions as if most instructions that we receive in any Lego set, they have primarily one, you know, let's flip to the right page here. They have maybe one or two uh, isometric views of the set to, to go off of. But early on, early on, they have three. And only that, but they don't really tell you where anything goes. Let's just see if we can, oh, I, maybe I can zoom in on this. Okay, so you can see there that there's a few parts that are actually really grayed out in the background. The reception area is grayed out entirely. Those are showing old bricks. Uh, the new bricks are these, these little parts over here that make up the desk and the desktop. Um, but yeah, so needless to say, my eyes hurt so much trying to figure out where everything went. Um, that and uh, when they try to tell you to build the couch, they they actually uh, show you this nice little diagram of just building the couch, the legs and everything. You know that's all nice, and they tell you they tell you where it goes. But the problem is, then they tell you where how to build the chair by showing you step by step, layer by layer, where the chair goes on the set. So there's four little dots there for the legs. There's the bottom of the chair, and if we can see it, there's more of the chair there. So slowly but surely, they add more and more layers onto the chair, as if, you know, as if it wasn't hard enough to 
to, to actually look at this thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting really sidetracked. That's just a minor nitpick. I just wish they had shown little ways to uh, little ways to build these uh, furniture pieces without having to look at this whole set and then figure out where it goes properly. For a viewing stage, uh, for, from a viewing standpoint, that would be more useful for me. Uh, but yeah, I had to base everything off of where the walls went and then count all the individual studs uh, as per old Lego. Um, they used to do that with old Lego sets, old instructions, but they stopped doing it because, you know why? Because it's unintuitive and most kids can't, uh, can't follow instructions that are so tiny and difficult. Um, so yeah, no wonder I lost a lot of pieces because I probably didn't see where they went in old Lego sets you know, because it was in, they was hid pieces on you, you know? But yeah, that's that's basically my whole rant against this whole set. They could have made the instruction manual a lot thicker, I guess, and therefore uh, easier to follow, uh, but it's ironic that a set about a paper company tried to save paper by printing three instructions per page. That's just ironic. I do like the, uh, I do like the fonts and the uh, ripped out paper effect here. That's really nice. And the crumply paper in the background, but I couldn't see after a while because I've been squinting for so long. I think I just went for about an hour. Anyway, uh, let's just look at the set. All right. So here we have the Scranton office in its fat mojo glory. Uh, it's knockoff block glory. Uh, it's really a nice set. It's, I do have to say that it's a nice set once it's all bu built up. It actually conveys the idea of the office very well. It's got some play, good play value in that you can put more minifigures in here very well. It's not all covered up. Um, there's there's a, a lot of nice detail with the computers and the all of the uh, all of the letterheads actually say Dunder Mifflin, which I think it was a really nice. If that actually, there we go, Michael Scott there, Dunder Mifflin, Michael Scott. That's a nice little uh, little effect there. But the problem is a lot of the parts just tend to fall off easily. So that's just a minor nitpick, I guess. Um, but yeah, so um, the quality of the plastic is a little on the cheap side. Um, and as per most knockoffs, they tend to stick very, very well because the tolerances are very close, are very tight. Um, Legos are, are uh, precise, but not being too precise in that they are too tight to pull to pull apart, put back together, and so on and so forth. These are just too tight that they just stay together no matter what. And nuclear bombs go off, and I couldn't <coughs> destroy this wall. Uh, it's very well put together. I mean, just in that regard, uh, most knockoffs you can say that about. Um, just it's not really a good play value that you can't. Do anything else with this wall after you build it i mean i could tear up my fingernails to pry it apart but beyond that it's just a wall you know it can't be anything else afterwards um mainly because they have fat mojo doesn't produce that many bricks uh but yeah I, I, i'm getting sidetracked um yeah so cheapo quality tightness um it's a good it's a good set overall i do enjoy it the uh, one of the other issues is the fact that on the way back here the the door doesn't actually fully uh, uh, come past the uh, plant there, so it uh, ends up sticking on the plant and knocking it down, uh, which is kind of a funny point, um, kind of a funny part of the set uh, that the plants actually come apart very easily. Uh, the in fact, it's this whole set is very very interesting, um, just the way that they had it all, all constructed this. This uh, filing cabinet here is very interestingly done, but um, like I said, I wish they had a sub-assembly in the instruction manual. I knocked something else off, but it doesn't really matter. Um, did this stick in there? I don't know. I, with knockoffs, it's always hard to tell if things actually stuck in the proper spots. Um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's just take a look at the minifigure abominations that we have. First up, we have Michael here. And if you can remember, he had a nose on the box art, but now he unfortunately just has a little circle where his nose is. And that's, that's nice. I, I like the attention to quality and, and, and detail they have there from the box to the actual product. That's very nice. In fact, is it just me or does he just look a little different in general from the, the box art? Uh, I might have to show these guys side by side afterwards. Uh, but here we go, here's Jim. He definitely looks different than his box. He's also got the circle nose. 
Very odd, very odd. Um, and then here we go, here's Dwight, and he's just not having any of it. Yeah, I just they, they captured his passive aggressiveness well, but beyond that, um, it didn't match the box at all. They could have done better at that, I will say. Uh, that's part one of the other uh, nitpicks that I have against this this set. Uh, that and they also tend to use the uh, uh, Slubon method of, of making their figures in which uh, they have a single peg in the legs that go up the center. At least I believe that's Slubon, uh, one of the other knockoff brands I've reviewed in the past. Uh, but yeah, so the minifigures themselves are nice. They, they actually convey the idea well of who they're supposed to be. Um, they're not terribly off. And I love that that tie. That's that's a nice tie. Um, but yeah, just there's something missing. There's a there's. I wish they had done. I don't know add-on sets maybe. Uh, I may have not have uh, put them put them together because this is was so arduous to put together in general. But it would have been nice to see that they had uh, continued this brand on um, at least beyond this this one set. Uh, but yeah, the, come on, Lego, give us a legitimate. Um, it was an actual set. It was an actual the office set uh, because the fans really want it. And you know what? If you can make money off of the Friends set, the the series TV series Friends, uh, I'm sure you can make it make it off of this show. So get on that. Come on, come on. Um, yeah. Um, without further ado, I guess that's it for this review. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of these. I guess passive aggressive reviews of knockoff blocks and things. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye.